Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, we are back with Ember Ward because, well, in the very first run, I had a lot of fun, but we could have done a lot better. Now, I have had a quick run in between just to kind of get a feel for things, but we're going to just jump in and see if we can just get further than last time. I think I only got to like two rounds or something like that. I can't really remember, but we're going to jump in and see if we can better that this time. Now, we go to the village. We have to select our character. We've only got this guy, Ferry the Novice. Um, which basically gives our fire more health. You can see here your fire source has five extra HP. And the aim of the game is it's like a tower defense cross maze build roguelike type game. And the aim is to try and keep your fire burning. So you have to stop the enemies getting there. They're trying to extinguish. You're trying to take them out. So we're going to go to the academy. And this is where we pick up our blocks and our towers. So you can see here. So there's three different towers that you start with. And then an assortment of blocks here. Um, so we've got the flamethrower, icicle tower, and then the drone tower automatically tracks and continuously attacks enemies within its range. Then we've got the frost tower consistently freezes surrounding monsters, inflicting damage and slowing them down. The dice tower, try your luck. The number you roll is the damage to the value of the tower. And then the laser tower fires a laser at the target, accumulating energy while firing. The higher the energy, the faster the attack. Okay, nice. Basic tower, just basic tower defense. Cannon tower and flame. These seem seem like a little a nice simple setup. Um, and then up here we've got the Phoenix Feather. All fire towers gain an extra five percent extra critical hit. Adventures Legacy, you receive an additional twenty gold coins at the start of each level. That seems kind of nice. Static Shocker. When a monster's charge effect is triggered, it also takes electric damage. Mystic Gauntlets. Once per level, when the fire source is attacked. Reduces max HP by one, kill half the monsters and stun the rest for five seconds. Okay, right. We, I mean, hopefully the fire source doesn't get attacked. Um, and then Frostfire. The attack speed of your fire tower is reduced by 20%, but the damage also causes chill effect. I kind of like this. The extra 20 gold at the start. I think I'm going to go with this one. And then maybe this one. Yeah, so we're going to go with this one here, I think. And we're going to start with extra 20 gold. Uh, this one. The Avengers Legacy. Sorry for the little pause there. I was uh, had a bit of a coughing fit. So we've got four different battles. And then you get your rewards here. You get the tower and the block card. Tower and the relic. Tower and block card. And tower and a block card. Like I... I kind of like the idea of getting a relic. So we're going to go down this route. Does mean we come up against a corrupted. I don't really know what that actually means. But we're going to go down this route and see how we get on. Okay. So the one thing I failed at last time was kind of funneling them all down one route. So that's going to be my aim for this. Is we're going to try and make sure that they're all going to go down one path. So we're going to block this path off. We can send them this way. And then send them down here. Um, I mean, we could do that, get the extra damage on this block. Don't feel like that's necessarily needed, though. Um, let's do this. And then we're going to go with you here. And maybe stick an icicle here. We've got 35 left because we've got the extra. Maybe just stick extra fire up top. Sure. Let's go. Okay, they're going to come down here. And we've got these little spiders followed by a couple of little bugs. But we've got fire and then we've got the icicles. Are we going to get it done? Yes. And then we've got these little ones. We can zoom in and see these get taken out. Okay, first round done. Nice. Six waves to go. So we draw three more. Now the aim here is, I mean, we could do this. The aim here is to try and make this as windy as possible. Something like that. Add that there for more damage. Actually, no, I'm going to put this here and then add this for more damage. And then increase the range when we can. Let's send it. Do 
The icicle towers work really well on stuff that's got little damage. That's why I'm putting them at the back. Because if we click here, it's, it says... I mean, actually, it doesn't say here, does it? No, it doesn't show. Does it show over here? Yeah. Fire sharp icicles. The lower an enemy's health, the more damage it does. Inflicts up to 300%. Okay, now we need to do a little bit of uh, twisty twisty. Do this, something like that. Basically, just get them kind of weaving through as much as we possibly can. Uh, more fire. We could have you back here just as a last minute resort. And then I think it's probably better to have which one covers the most maybe you i want to upgrade you to 50 so we're going to start this and we're going to add extra damage so we'll upgrade this as soon as we hit 50. so we got the spiders coming in zoom in get the flames burning when this hits 50 there we go we get the extra damage oh these look kind of scary wait we might need more at the back. Uh, no, we, we, we've coped. We've coped. Oh, we've got some chests. Rewards. Okay, 20 coins and the protection rune. So the tower on it has its attack power increased by 50% and does not malfunction due to monsters or enemy uh, environmental effects. Poison boost tile increases the attack power of poison towers. We don't have any of those. Another protection tile and 10 coins or dark grip. Once every three seconds, the attack from the tower grabs five monsters in 15 range to the target's position. Interesting. Um, or range up. Hmm, I think... I think I'm just going to grab... I think I'm just going to grab the extra coins. And maybe put this, like, back here. Just in case, like, it gets to the very end and they get kind of get slammed. Do something like that. Just so this is protected. Oh, we've got another chest. More coins. Um, flame rune creates a, a fire boost tile on the block. I mean, that could be pretty good. Speed up. The tower's firing speed increases by 50%. Also pretty nice. Fire boost on this block too. When the tower kills a monster, you get double coins. Last for 30 seconds. Oh, I like that. But I like also like that last for 15 seconds. Let's go for this one. So if we get this in, does it fit in here? Can we get it in here? No, we can't. We actually can't put it anywhere around here. And back here is no use really. So it's probably going to have to go up here. Something like that, maybe. Um, the fire boost. Add this here. Then we need to make things a little bit more tricky in here for, uh, for them. So let's get something like this in. Now that's not going to work. What about this one? Is this the same block? <laughs> Kind of the same block. Drone. Automatically tracks and continuously attacks the enemies within the range until they leave. Cool. Let's stick a drone in the middle. And we'll give that extra damage and fire rate. And then we can slow these down a little bit more around here. Basically, you just want to try and give this one as much as possible. Do something like that. And then where are most of the deaths going to come from? Maybe this one. So let's do this and send it.
Again, sorry, I've, the, the breaks are because I'm basically coughing. Um, but it looks like this is going pretty well. I'm, I mean, the drones are working nicely here. And we get it done. Oh, we got the big dude over here. Should be able to take it down. Maybe put another drone in the middle. And do the same thing. Just so it gets... I mean, it's, it's decent tracking on it. 254. We got loads. That is a that is plenty to play with. That is more than enough to play with, mind. Let's do this. Um, I mean, we're forcing them that way. Like that. So this gets plenty of coverage now. Um, over here, we could put something. Maybe something, just extra fire damage for this one. Um, we could just layer the drones in the middle. Maybe drop a drone down here. Uh, <laughs> and then we just set up the back line just in case. And send it. I mean, add the extra damage and fire rate to you. You've got extra damage. You're kind of scary. We'll give you extra damage in the corner there as well. Extra damage here. Okay, this is getting a little hairy, but we do get it done. And there's a lot of tr treasure chests here. Um, right, so we got the powerful shot. Last 30 seconds, coins, frost poles, extra coins. Uh, I mean, extra fireball. All fire elements have 3% chance burn. Every attack will also shoot a fireball dealing. I mean, that's kind of nice. We could take this. We could drop this. Oh, I meant to put it on there. <laughs> that's a fail. We cleared it, though. Okay, so one last round. Um, let's do... That's a, that's a real shame that that went there. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's do something like this. And then... Nope. If you hold it down, then you're able to pull it back. Which is kind of nice. Uh, I need to just do that. And then... That. Then we add this in here, give it the extra range and fire rate. Grab another treasure chest. That's so much. Toxic coating, stun enhance. I mean, we should be okay here, right? I think we grab this one. We've got 138. I mean, we've got plenty. Let's get some more... Let's get, uh, can we get things upgraded here? What needs to be upgraded? You are, let's get damage to you, damage to you. I mean, we'll get damage here. Oh, we can't quite get it. We'll get the range here. And I mean, this is going through a, wind, a windy enough path down here. We'll block this off. Then we've got the tower damage increases by 100%, but firing speed decreases. Every attack will also shoot a fireball. And then once every five seconds, the attack from the tower stuns enemies for one second. Let's go. So we want to try and stun the enemies when they're in here, because this is the gauntlet here. So we could add the, the extra fireball to this one. And then the stunning enemies when they're in here to this one. When it gets there. If it gets there. Here we go. And then the powerful shot just to increase. We might as well add it to this one here too. And we should hopefully get it done. We've got a number of icicles that we could line up down the back here. If worst comes to worst. But I think we've got this one. We could speed it up. Let's go. Stage cleared. That is what we like to see. 
Okay, so we could pick up a dart tower, a lasso tower. Uses powerful electricity to tether a monster, slowing it and dealing damage per second. When the monster leaves the range, the broken tether explodes, dealing 50% of its accumulated damage to nearby monsters. Or the decimate. I like this. Fires missiles with deadly poison, causing poison damage to enemies within a large area. If the target's accumulated poison exceeds its health, it will be killed instantly. I mean, and then these are next, right? So we've got the Mystic Gauntlets. Once per level when the fire source is attacked or when you kill a monster affected by the chill effect or towers not attacking for more than five seconds will have 100% crit chip. I like the idea of picking up one of these big ones. Let's go for this, the Decimate Tower. And then towers not attacking for more than five seconds will 100% crit on their next attack. I like that too. Let's view map. Oh, this is just this map. Okay, let's go. So we could go here, or we could take an easy path. And I'll, I honestly, I think I'm going to go down the easy path. We've got 32 talents. So we can draw one additional card at the start of each level. Or if no damage is taken from monsters in a level, you gain an extra 5, 10, 20% experience points. Tower upgrade costs are reduced. You have one, two, three chances to reroll when choosing new towers at the end of the level. The initial health of the fire source is increased. Let's increase the fire source. Card drawing costs will not increase beyond 3025, okay? Increase the preparation time. If no damage is taken. I like the idea of if no damage is taken, we're going to get extra experience. And we're going to go for this. Okay. Prepare for the first wave. Again, same thing. We need to funnel them in. So, how do we do this? Um, we can do this for sure. And do something like that. Now they're funneling through here and we've got double these. And we go for you and you here. And then I think we want to try and slow them down. Like we want to add in... Something like this. Okay, that's a good start. We've got fire and fire on the extra damage. Plus, we've got the icicle at the back. And we need to push them down here, right? But first, we'll push up. So we've got these little guys again. It does actually show us what they are in the top. We could speed this up, though. Okay, we get it done. So we've got tw 10 slimes, 4 stinger hornets, and 3 venom crawlers coming. Um, and they're now going to come from, let's do this, and I'm going to come from over here. Uh, let's do something like, let's keep pushing them out. We want to make it as jaggedy as possible. Maybe this is not the piece. Maybe that's not the piece there. Maybe it's a little bit more like... Maybe it's a little bit more like this. Or we could just, yeah, we could run it like this. Do something like that. And like this. Get them coming down this gauntlet here. Um, but actually, you got to think about the decimator, right? So I, I need to make the cross shape so can we do that here and do something like this and then we've got the decimator that can sit on there when we get there um, and then push this out here like that I like that that kind of works um, drones can sit in here the decimator will be we can set the drones there, actually. That kind of... Um, I think get the drones in... Yeah, maybe, maybe like... Yeah, maybe here. Because they're going to... Could probably extend their... 
Yeah, let's leave them here. This is fine. A little bit of coverage. I want to save up for the decimator here. So let's see if we can get through this round. And maybe we can pick it up halfway through the round. So in come the slimes. There's 10 slimes. In come the hornets. We do take it down. I'm just going to watch the speed here. And we do get it. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The decimator is in. Nothing's getting by now. Okay. We did spend a lot of our a lot of our coinage for this. The explosion leaves a poisonous cloud on the ground, poisoning passing monsters and causing an additional 20% damage. Or damage plus 20. The hit monster has 300% poison tick rate for 30 seconds. Let's save up for that one. Um, right, can we make this a little bit more awkward in here for them? No, we can't. Can we make it a tall more awkward over here? A little bit. We can make them go around here. Okay, we want to push them back this way. Do something like... I mean, I kind of want to keep this piece. So, maybe it's an upgrade of damage on this one here, and send it. Because I want to basically kind of build out a bit of a slalom for them. Let's speed this up. Oh, the decimal, you can see it ticking down. Oh, and then they explode, nice. Oh, we got the treasure. Let's see what we get. Builds up to five free scrap towers on the block. Oh, I like that idea. Ten coins, and then each time it fires, the tower launches an additional one missile. Okay, we're going to take this. I'm going to take the, the scrap towers down here. And we're going to have these as just like the last line of defense. And we grab this. Explosion tile. The monster kills... The monster killed by the tower on it explodes and causes 10 area fire damage. Okay, interesting. Arcane storm. When the tower kills a monster, it launches an arcane missile. To, okay, that's also pretty cool. No, well, we'll take this one. Why not? Okay, so an explosion in here seems like a good place to have things kicking off you know because we could kind of like funnel them into this little explosive area like that so the monster killed by a tower on it explodes and causes 10 fire damage yeah so we're going to do that and we're going to add you here we need to basically make this area as awkward as possible i mean we could just kind of Send them. Yeah, I mean, this is fine, right? We just funnel them all down through this little space. Through here. Get those kind of looping around. And give you the extra range. And then give you your extra damage. And... I mean, we could get another decimate in here, or we could maybe try to think like if we could get a singular block, we could maybe get another one in here. So like singular blocks are going to be big for us. Arcane storm, and we got the arcane blast. We got these if we need them. Um, I think down here, I think we're good to just keep pushing them. We could do this, something like that. And then just get another flame in here. Okay, let's send it. Okay, they're coming in. I don't want to go too quickly. The wolves are coming through. Decimate does some damage. 
We've got the arcane storm, so when it kills, it launches arcane missiles. Got to remember that. We also have the arcane blast as well. But everything seems to be faltering around here, which is nice. This is what we need. Um, we could get another flame tower in here. And this one can have damage. Okay, we should be able to clear. And then the big guy comes through. And you explode into lots of little spiders. And they're gone. Okay. Can we get another decimate? We built this here, which kind of scuppers this decimate idea that I had over here. But that's fine. Because we can add it over here. Do this. And then... I mean, we've got... I mean, we got plenty that we can do. Like, we can send everything down this way. Like this. Get them all traveling down here like this. That is what we like to see. Now they've really got a funnel to go through. And we'll do this. Oh, we need that 20. Okay, we'll send it. We push it. And we want to push this one up to 20 when we get there. Just to get the extra range. There it is. Oh, okay. This could be dangerous. Let's add this in here. Add this to you. Just to make sure we can take down this big guy. I mean... He's coming in thick and fast. Draw. And we add this here just as a little extra protection down the back. <laughs> it got a little hairy, but I think we should be good. <laughs> we had to slow it down. Okay, one more to go. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's add extra damage to you. I mean, we don't need another decimate. I think we can get this in. And then I think maybe just the extra kind of fire around here, maybe. Get another drone in. Why not? Stick a drone in there. Send it. Can't place it down there. Send them around a little bit longer. Send them around a little bit longer again. Save this block down here. And then we line these up just at the back if needs be. Nice. I think we've got this. Chipping away bit by bit, burning this one, and the big guy, is he going down? Yes, he is. Let's go, stage clear. And we get ourselves a block. Ooh, flame rune. Oh, we can add our own runes. Creates a fire boost tile on the block. Increases the attack power of fire towers placed on this. I mean, sure, add that, and then... The greater speed of the tower placed above increases by 100%, or draw a card after placing this block, but the block is immediately locked. Increases the attack power of arcane. So we want this one, maybe. So the attack speed of the tower placed above increases. Yeah, let's take this. Nice. Add that to the pack. Poison tower. Directly pours concentrated venom onto passing enemies' heads. I quite like the idea of that. You know what? We're just going to take that because that sounds kind of fun. Uh, and then we hit continue. Let's go for a relic. Okay. So how does this work? Ah, oh, so you're gonna kind of like filter them through like that. Oh, this kind, this could work quite nicely on this level. 
but you kind of want to send them through one of these gaps, right? So we want to block off one of the gaps like this. Yeah, so we want to do that. And then... Wait, no. We don't want to do that. We maybe want to... How do we... I want to bring this in eventually. But I don't see how that's going to work. We might have to come up with something a little bit more creative with that. Do Let's block this off using this. And let's do... Something like this. Because we want to get the fire on here. And then I want to get the range from this. But it's a really awkward block. I might draw. That's better. Is it better? Maybe. Maybe add this here. And then one more fire here. Okay. On this speed one, I will be placing maybe this. Or we could have this as part of the decimate and get the extra speed on the decimate. Okay, I mean, this range on this one is nice. That gets it done. And now we've got so many pieces. This is perfect. Okay, let's do this. We're going to get them filtering around here. Oh, and now we could have we could have poured, like, stuff over their head here, right? I mean, that's not going to work because they're not going through there. But if we had something here, like this. Wait, it doesn't need to be that big. Do something like this. We could have this here. Pouring. Oh, yeah, that's what we like to see. Then block this off. Like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty That's pretty nice. It's going to go around here. They're going to go pour through here. This is going to do... Get the increased range on this when I can. Okay. We want to build up a couple of these little poison ports for them to go through. Because the earlier the better. But that works. That works quite nicely. Because if we can get a few of these going, like we want to get one early, right? That's kind of like the plan here. I don't like the, these tracks are making it very awkward. In fact, wait, if I kind of, is the track actually now stopping me? I can't, I can't place on the track, right? So I need to actually stop them going down the route of the track, which is a little annoying. I hadn't really thought about that because the track is now, hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little frustrating, but we can we can maybe do something like this and add this here and then add this there maybe. I don't know, we'll put this here and see how it plays out. And then we need to build up this down here. So we could do with getting a decimate set up. But how do we get one of those set up? Need to think about the blocks, if I'm honest. But we also need to think about how we can elongate this back end. Do something like that. I Basically, I want to basically bring it round here. Let's do... I mean, it's awkward. I'm not going to lie, it's awkward. We'll do this. Add this here. And then we're going to add this here. And give it the extra range. 
when we can. Okay. They're coming through. Oh, good poison. That poison is nice, actually. I like those little poison ports. It's, that's so cool. They're all just getting poisoned and then getting taken out after that. Oh, and then we get our fire boost and extra speed tile again. Okay, they need to go down the poison port though. So we need to make sure that this happens. <laughs> um, let's do... Do this. Add the fire here. Just in case they get through into this little area. I mean, the decimate may not even appear. We may not even go down this route. Just in case they get this far. A little bit more poison. And um, we can line up more fire here. You know what? We'll take the treasure. See what we get. Extra fireballs and a stun enhance. Toxic coating, tower attacks, deal additional poison damage equal to 50% of the damage value. Creates a poison boost. I know we're going to take this one. Because there's a gold boost as well, yeah. So we want to create a poison boost. Like, could we do this? Or we could do something down here. Like that. And then place this here. Poison boost. <laughs> it's like... A bit of a poison gauntlet. That's what we like to see. And this is a protect. So tower placed on it will earn additional 50% gold when killing monsters. Uh, that's cool. How do we utilize you? Maybe put you... Here. And we'll save up. Because we'll place a tower here and hopefully it'll take out something that's coming through the poison. So we'll do this. And then when we get the 50, we'll give it extra damage. Maybe it's not taking anything out. It doesn't take anything out. It's probably not the best move that, but it is what it is. Okay, five of seven. I mean, the poison the poison's doing a grand job. Honestly, it, nothing can get through it. Um, I think we just line up a load of, I think we take this and get extra damage and then we get an, another fire piece in here and then we just send it. We can slow it down if we have to and we have to bend things around, but I think, oh wait, 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 this is extra toxic coating here. Then we bring stuff down here. Line up a couple of things here. Nice. Okay, this is wave five of seven. We got so many blocks. Like, we got so much extra protect. I think we just, I mean, could we get the decimate in? We definitely can. We definitely could. Um, how do we do it? Where do we put it? We could put it here. And then we got 40 left. I'm just going to add another one of these here. I want to upgrade some of these towers, basically. get another fire in here because if this one oh we could upgrade these two replaces poison with fire I mean the upgrades are kind of cool but I think we're good we got so much okay let's let's go with equips a sprinkler and equips a sprinkler it give you extra damage 
And then... I mean, there's poison everywhere. This is so cool. I mean, we just line these up here. Don't think we can give you... I mean, we'll send it. We'll just send it like it is. We can just start building this down. If we have to send them on a gauntlet down here, we can. But I feel like we're okay. Oh. It's going to be a little tasty. But we do have this back end gauntlet. Thankfully, I put it in. Just in case of these situations. <laughs> and there it is. We get it done. Stage is clear. The Chomp Tower. Bites nearby monsters dealing extra damage equal to 20% of the monster's current health. Earthquake. Attacks any passing monsters with shockwaves causing stun. Or the Dart Tower. Shoots tiny poison darts. I mean... Sure, like we could just really stack the poison. And then this one. Monsters under poison effects take 10% damage. I think that's huge. Or your poison effects also cause chill effects. That's also pretty big. Or when you set a tower during battle, you don't... I, I mean, 10% damage. I think we take this because we're pushing poison here. I like the idea of going down the poison route. Um, let's go for this one. Okay, they're coming down this long stretch. And immediately, I got to think about where I want to send them. We want to send them in one of these directions. So we could do this. And... Do, does, can we fit that block in there? No, we can't. Can we fit this block in here? We can. Which allows us to put this in. There's a decimate slot right there. I think. <clears throat> I think I could probably put decimate on there. Yeah. We should be able to put the decimate here. But we need to send... If I do this, we can send them this way and drag them around here. That kind of works. Um, and then at the top here, we can put this here. A couple of cheap darts at the front as well. But we're going to have to force them out and around. But we should be okay on the early rounds. In fact, we should be able to force them up here in a bit of a gauntlet. Oh, oh, you got through. I wasn't, I was not ready. Oh, we lost one. Okay, I need to pay more attention. Do this. Okay, maybe not that. We do this. Okay, that's, that's the route that we're taking. We got them kind of weaving around. Another poison here. Uh, and, I mean... Sure, I mean, this is... This is going to be a little risky. This could be a little risky. Running, running the, the poison without too much else. Oh, we just we need we need to get you can we does the fire get it done it does just get it done we could put this back here saves the day okay that's good the decimate can come in but i don't think we take it just yet this is this is nice um adding this here with the fire would work but i kind of want to just boost this back line we're boostering this back line for now. Uh, and then 
we could. We could do this. And then block them off here. Like so. And then add the fire there. Just so that we've got this back alley kind of like cornered off. And I sort of want to do this as well, so they have to go around. Okay. I think we I think we're okay. I think we're good. And we'll definitely grab this. Ooh. Oh, we get the heal back. I mean, we take that shortly. We heal back up. I'm taking this. We're back to 15. You're kind of scary, but we do decent damage. And we get it done. And we're about to get attacked by the little minions. 30 coins, though. Damage up. I'm going to take the 30 coins. Because now we can bring in the big guns. And then we could go with... I think we go with the sprinkler here. Because that will sprinkle across all of these. I think that's what we go with here. And I mean, a damage up on you would be pretty good. Extra damage on you, not too bad either. Pretty cheap to do that. Probably do that. And... I'll be tempted to put you, put you there as well. Just a couple of early darts. Um, okay, let's see if we can extend this out a little bit. Just to get them kind of weaving through. Oh, that's big. Decimator's good. We could have another one kind of in here, maybe? Let's go with... Let's do this. I haven't you done this one before. There's the gas. Oh, just gets it done. They nearly got through. Okay. We need to kind of like... Uh... We need more back here, basically. We need more protection back here. So, we need to get this in. And I don't know where exactly. Like, we could put it there. It's not the worst idea. And then we get the fire boost onto you. And then back here, we've got the extra protection for the extra speed on these. I think maybe something like that might be not too bad. I'm going to save the money because if we could bring in another decimate, that would be kind of it. Where are we bringing it though? Like I could do... Could go in here. And do it something like this. We can give you the extra damage. Okay, they're plowing their way through. There's a lot of damage being done. Uh, let's add more damage to you. And these guys, range, fire rate. I mean, the range could be kind of useful. But I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant to do anything. I want to upgrade this. Nice. Do we go another decimate? Just really hammer it home. <laughs> I think so. We're not here to play. We're not here to play games. We go big or go home. Just hit them with the poison. Just keep hitting them hard. That's what we like to see. And then do that for you. Nice. Okay. And maybe... Who, who's to say we don't take another decimate? 
Who's to say we don't just bring in one more for good measure? <laughs> and who's to say we don't bring in one more? At me. I'm gonna I'm just gonna protect the back line. Um I mean what we could do is we could line up a little bit more of this um and have it so that they're going through that. What's the range on these? Okay, so that's the that's the max distance these are hitting. So we don't really need this going any further. I think we just gotta watch this back line now, don't we? So Let's just line up some of these down the back here. Okay, that's fine. Increases, but firing rate decreases. Stun. Buzzing. Every five seconds, the attack from the tower stuns an enemy. Okay, let's add that to you. We should be all good here. I'd like to think so anyway. just literally so much poison <laughs> and we get it done I like this synergy I like the poison can we take this the whole way that is the question earthquake tower we've already seen the arcane missile shoot a arcane missiles has 100% crit chance against enemies with more than 8% health or the last year uses powerful electricity to tether a monster maybe the earthquake Gain 5% extra critical chance on poisoned monsters. Yes, please. We'll take Earthquake, and then we'll take this. Now, we probably got some talent to spend. 43. Gain additional 1, 3, or 5 Ember Stones for every 50 remaining gold. Again, I don't know what that means. Ember Sparks. Your fire sources gain self-damage capabilities. Um, card drawing costs will... Not increased beyond 30. Don't need that. Initial health on the fire increases. Tower upgrade costs are reduced by... I think maybe take that. That's kind of nice. And one, two, and three of the items in the shop will be discounted. Sure. Okay. Alter. Offer ember stones. Do we have any ember stones? Oh, we got 70. Offer Ember Stones to alter to restore health or gain other enhancements. Or, you know what? We're just going to go straight onto a battle. Ooh. Now this looks tricky. Block this off. Sends them down here. Block this off. Sends them into here. do that and then we'll get the extra fire damage extra fire rate maybe or do we want yeah we're going to want the extra fire rate on you aren't we to pick off anything at the back and do something like this just to make sure or do we just get we draw another tile and just really pin them in like this and then we can go yeah this should be enough to get through the first battle i'm hoping oh we didn't cover this up here no no Oh no, no. Can it, can it be defended? Can it be defended? I mean, that is what you call how to butcher i did not see this one sneaking all the way around it got cut off here i thought they were going in here oh that's tragic 
That is... That is not good for us. Okay, they're all coming in here. We've got four health. <laughs> oh, we've had to sell some stuff as well. Oh, it could have been so much better. Okay, right. It's not over. Yet. Um, you sell for 12. We'll sell you. Let's sort this out. We need you here. We need you here for sure. Um, let's do something like this. And we're going to need another fire in here. Something like that. Okay. Everything's coming through here now. That was, um, yes. I mean, we need health. If, if, if we find any health, we're taking it. <laughs> Okay, we're through this round. That is good. We can get ourselves one of these. Which is nice. Um, it's good for the poison. And then we're going to start filtering them this way. Can't with this piece. Or this piece. Or this piece. <laughs> I'm trying to get more poison. Um, I mean, we could do something as simple as this. And then add another poison piece in here. And then back here, we just need protection. Um, so we could do this and add in you. Extra range. Okay. I think we're okay. We get the poison trap set up at the beginning. And the decimate can actually fit into this little space here. We drop it in. And then same again. I think, I mean... We just, just basically want to slow them down on entry into here. So we can do something like this and add fire to here. Anyone coming? I think I've blocked all the entrances now. After that, shambles. I need to be quicker to learn that I can just sell. Because I haven't sold many towers, I just didn't think about selling it until the last minute. Somehow we didn't lose. Um, which is kind of good, I guess. Like, I mean, it was a good recovery. Okay. That's pretty nice. We could get another decimate in here. And then we'll... Oh, I do not want to do that. And we want to spin this around. And then we want to push them down this way. I think we could do that for sure. And then send them this way. And we got one more setup of poison here. Is that block, Am I, have I actually used that block quite nicely? Looks like it. We can increase the range on there, nice. Okay, so now we need to just set up these decimates with upgrades. This guy's big. We do get him done though. Okay, so we want you to do the explosion. And then we want to build up to you to do the extra damage. There we go, nice. Next stop is another decimate when we get the money. And we'll put it somewhere like here. Okay, we do something like this. And we get it in there. Nice. Um, and 
I think just adding some extra damage over here is always good. Something like that. We'd like to give you max damage if we can. So next upgrade is this one and also this one again. Okay, this is look this is working. This is working. Get the extra damage on the decimate. Okay, we've got we've got our poison traps here. Um, we got enough for another one. If I can figure out where would be a good place to put it. We could put it here. Like can I add in something like this and stick it there? We can. And we'll do that. And then do something. I mean, I can't actually see what's going on here. Do this and add in fire here. I mean, we can do that. And then, oh, there's room for another poison here. But let's go. And we will bring it in when we can. There it is. Let's get it in there. Oh, they're close to the back. They're close to the back. Let's get a little, a little extra, some extra icicles at the back here just for protection. We don't take anything for granted. There's a chest. Oh, we get some. I'm taking the HP. I'm just building this HP back up. I'm taking whatever I can with the HP. Once every three seconds, the attack from the tower grabs five monsters in range. Okay. Nice. I mean, I think what we do is actually we loop. We do something like this. We can loop them round. Do this, like that, so they come into range here. Um, and then we could maybe put something like here that hits both, increase the damage. Did you get upgraded? You did. I think all of these got upgraded. You can see the bottom of the color of these and that shows you what they've been upgraded to. Um, but, I don't necessarily think we need another decimate. I think what we could do is we could set up some poison. We could add you, give you some extra damage. I think just getting these upgraded is nice. And then getting you upgraded is nice. Okay, let's go. I think this could be it. This is the final wave, but I think we've got I think we've got enough set up here. It's chaotic, but I think we've got enough. Oh, you're kind of scary though. Um I mean add in to you. That's it. You just keep grabbing them back. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Let's go! We saved all our boosts to the end. Well, apart from the mishap right at the start where I didn't realize that that space was open, we were good. Um, okay, so we've got a sniper tower. We've got each attack fires 10 missiles targeting random enemies within the attack range. We've got the lightning tower. Fires chain lightning that bounces between multiple targets. I mean, it's kind of cool, but this... Honestly, I don't think we take many of these because we're kind of focusing on... I'll, I'll take... Hmm. Each attack fires 10 missiles targeting random enemies within the attack range. I think we'll take the lightning tower. When you build walls with three tiles or smaller, the walls immediately lock in place and you draw a card you can trigger. I mean, I don't have many with three or smaller. Each level, the first time you fire source takes damage, freeze all monsters for five seconds. 
and recover three health for the fire source when passing a level but limits your preparation time i can't limit my preparation time to 25 seconds um so i'm gonna say this one if we take damage then it freezes everything but we can't take any more damage um oh i mean this is already an hour long this video but we're gonna keep going shop purchase various items using ember stones we're going to the shop can we purchase help we can yes we'll take the three thank you um okay i mean frost venom your poison effect also causes chill at the start of each round you earn interest equal to 10 percent when burning monster is killed it bursts into flames and causes five okay or we can have fireball launches fireballs that bounce um a re-roll i like the idea of getting the vault and i've I mean, I'd like both of these, but I can't. So chill effect, reduce the monster speed, but I think we got to take that, right? And that leaves us with 40. Uh, I mean, draw a card after placing this block, put the block is, is immediately locked. We should probably spend our reroll. We should probably spend this. Build up to five scrap tower. I mean, that's kind of useful. Yeah, we'll take that one. And yeah, cool. Okay, we're back up to eight. That's not bad. That is not bad. And we're going to go here or here. Let's take this one. Okay, there's one entrance, two entrances, three entrances, four entrances, five entrances. Okay, we need to try and block it off so they all kind of funnel in one way. Um, okay, so easy block offs. Here. So we could block this off can't really block this bit off it's quite hard to block this bit off but we can block this and here which sends them all around here then we can put this here like so we're gonna miss out on that but I think that's fine and I think we put the fire here um, and Yeah, I mean, this is what we're going to have to work with, right? Stick you here. Stick you here. And send. Okay, they're all funneling around. I've not made a mistake this time. Okay, this is good. Now, can we get them to filter in here? I reckon we can. Depends on what pieces we get. So if we do this, that does get them filtering around there, which is good. I mean, what we need, ideally, we need to... I mean, if we could block... Can't block... I mean, they've got to come in there. So, like, we could do... Th yeah, it's going to have to be this, isn't it? Unless... I mean, we've got this piece. Or we've got this piece. Which is quite an interesting piece to have this early on. Like, we could do that. That's really not bad. I like that. That's good. And then we can send them down here. They're going to be both be coming in. I mean, yeah, we can't have them all kind of filter up here and round. Um, we could block this off and have them filter in here. But the problem is once they're in here, there's, that's a problem. So, yeah, this is the pinch point. Um, and we can have them milling around here or over here. That's fine. I mean... That's kind of what we're going to have to do. 
And we could just force them into there, but there's not much unless we kind of played with Yeah, I think that's I think that makes sense. Is to have this. But then it doesn't make use of these that much. Like Can I pick I can't pick this up now, so that these these guys are committed. Um which is oh, it's okay. It's okay. So I'm trying to think whether I want to block this off up here or block it off down here. I think we block it off down here. Because what I I, I kind of want to make sure that they get full use of this. It's annoying the pieces that we got. Maybe we draw one cut. Okay, that's a long piece. It's not really what we wanted. Um... I mean, can we do something with it? Maybe. Annoyingly. Oh, here they come. Okay. We're going to have to do this. We'll slow it down. We'll grab this. I'm looking for more hearts. We'll take it. We need to get you here. And then we need to get another. Oh, the scrap towers are going. Oh, okay, interesting. The scrap towers go. Gotcha. That's. Okay, that changes things slightly. Because what we can do here is do this. And then we set up. Poison Alley. Grab this. And... Ooh, do we take this, though? I was tempted by the heart. But I also tempted by this. I, we're going to take the heart. We're just going to keep pushing the hearts. <laughs> and another one. Let's go. And another heart. That's what we like to see. And wait, we get the little piece that can go in here. Oh, that's ideal. And wait, that's a that's a decimator slot. That could go there. I don't think that's the best place for it, mind. I think we're better off putting. I think we're better off putting flame here. Um, we could we could run the decimator. We could get the decimator out now. It's early, but I'm not opposed to it. Uh, right, let's see what else we got here. We've got Scrap Towers. That's fine. They can go there for this turn. Um, then we want to build this here. Oh, we can't build that there. That's fine to go there. Add the fire there. Then we want to go this way a little bit more. So can't make use of that unless we oh we can do this that's good and then again add fire here extra damage and then back here we just need to find we just need the extra protection okay i think we're good we may we may need to use one of these but we'll see I love how the trees burn. It's like really clever. We're going to use a stun enhance. I want to make sure we get through this. Okay. We do... I, I need to get the decimator out next turn. That's something that I'm going to need to do. Um, we can add this in. I think we send it. And we're going to look for a place to put this. Maybe here. Can't do that there. Yeah. It's going to go there. Get this up to 80. And then we can place down the big unit. Okay. 
Okay, this is nice. We've got our little poison alley here. Which is good for us. And we can push that up to there. Just slowing everything down. I mean, we've got so many pieces. We can, we can work this a little bit more. We can get them coming over here. Add fire there as well. Um, and then we need them backtracking on themselves here. Go back up to here. Something like this. And then we gotta we gotta get some poison over here as well. Um, so poison there and poison here. That's nice. And then basically we work on getting some decimators out there now. I think we're in a good place. Let's speed it up. Send them in. I mean, this guy's kind of scary. This big guy's really scary, in fact. We need to focus on him. We need to... Highest HP. Highest HP. Get some of these back here, just in case. Fire! Please take him down! Please take him down! Oh, he's kind of scary. Okay, we need another decimator. Let's get another one in here. Um, where can we put it? It's really awkward. Don't really, don't really want it there, do we? Can we find a better place for it? It's, pr it's probably gonna have to go. Can we? We can do this and put it here. It's not the best place for it, not gonna lie. Can we put it like here? Is that gonna be better? It'd be better in there. Like it would be good to get something like if we could work something in here. We can't though, that's the problem. There's nothing we could do with that. This piece, does this piece go in there? No. So I think it's, I think the trick is to have it over here with this one. Like this, we run the two together. Um, and then same thing. I think we just got to slow everything down. Do something like this. Put this here like this. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then... I mean, we can slow it down with the poison darts, right? So let's stick a few of these around. Because they add chill. So let's just put a few of those about and see if that makes... <laughs> let's see if that makes much of a difference. <laughs> um... And then let's stick you... Sure, we probably should put this one up here somewhere. Do that. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We need the upgrades for the decimators now. That's kind of the key thing. Um, stun on this, but I don't want to use it yet. I want to see if we can get through. We'll see how far we can get. Okay, this is nice. Poison cloud for you. You do the big damage. Add the power to you. We're gonna get it done. Whew. Okay. Same thing again. I think it's just slow everything down where we can. What does the Earthquake do? Attacks any passing monsters with shockwaves causing brief stun effects. Ooh. 
what shape is this? Like, what does it need to go on exactly? Is it the same? It's the three by three, isn't it? So like, if you put this here, you could put that there and it would stun these. Oh, we can't quite, I mean, we could try it. It doesn't quite go there. We could put it there, but it's not really that effective. I think there's better things to spend our money on, like another decimator. <laughs> In all honesty, I think there's better things like another decimator. Um, and we could try, I mean, the poi, let's get some poison going. So... Let's, oh, I mean, that's a little frustrating that we can't literally set it up anywhere there. <laughs> the sprinkler would work, but I mean, that gets half, but I kind of want all of them. And there's no zone here that gets both. So we get them up there. Do we get this? in here anywhere no so i think it is just a case of putting the poison here for you and getting the sprinkler and then extra damage here and i think we send it Just really slow this guy down. We've got this side kind of covered, it feels. The big guys are coming from this side. Um, I mean, I kind of want to save this, actually. Big guy's going down. And second big guy's going down. Let's go. Okay, this is good. This is good. And now we've got money. 300. Wait, we have the wealth vault. No, we don't. We don't get the we didn't get the wealth vault. Um Okay, so it's just basically lay down some more decimators, right? That's that's the plan here. Get you do the damage, and then I think it's another one if we can. We could lay this up over here. To push them even further down here. I think this whole section is as is as good as it's gonna get. Like we could add you here and I mean we could get a few more of these up here and maybe one more decimator. I'm not opposed to it. Honestly, I'm 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 sticking it in. This is it. Send it. And we get you upgraded. I'm hoping this side is going to be okay. Let's hit you with the stunner. And then we bring in you i missed it but <laughs> it's fine we can add it there <laughs> i think we get it done stage clear that means we're onto the final boss we're going the whole way lightning rune i'll get to build it again uh poison rune it's it's a given it's all about the poison Snowball Tower, Dice Tower, Arcane Tower. I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think we're going to use any of those. I think we've got our setup. And this is it. We're going against the boss. Wait, we got some talents. We've got 33 to spend. When selling a tower, there should be... Five. Okay, I don't want to sell a tower. All towers have one, three, five percent chance to critically hit, dealing additional damage. 
Fire Source gains defense capabilities when continuously attacking nearby en enemies. That's kind of cool. Um, initial health of the fire increases. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Um, okay. I think we send it. The boss. I don't even know what the boss is. Oh, okay. Now I do know what the boss is. Boss level. At last, we've reached the final level. Ahead lies the Gates Guardian monster. Defeat it to progress to the next area. Quickly fortify your defenses and use the minecart to weaken the boss. The arrow tower guards will buy you some time to prepare for the impending attack. Oh. Corrupted level. Corrupted areas will appear on the ground and you cannot build on them. Enemies will also have higher health or faster speed. However, on the flip side, you'll obtain better rewards when you pass the level. Corrupted all through here. Big boss dude is there. Ah, boy. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a poison there. And we're going to follow that immediately up with a tower here. So we're going to force them through this little section. Um, the attack power and range of the power is doubled. What are we going to send? I mean, we've got to send something on the car, right? I mean... 20 slimes, crimson lizard. Okay, I mean, we've got to think about this. We'll send them this way. Um, we'll put another fire tower here. I'll draw five. I'll see how this goes, but I might have to play this piece. What I might do, actually. not doing a huge amount of damage but we, we are taking these down okay this yeah i'm not sure how this is gonna play out but um you, we've got we've got to take you down fairly quickly i think uh, um let's let's advance let's do this and this we go poison here fire here and send it. I mean, we're doing little bits to it. Not like a huge amount, but... Okay, now we've got the decimate. So now the decimate's in. Where do we put it? We need to remove one of these scrap towers. So we can sell you, maybe. Poison, increase the attack poison towers placed on this. I mean, do we really want to increase the attack poison of the decimate? Maybe. So if we put that there, sell you, and buy this, and send. I mean, we're not doing much damage to it. I'm not going to lie. Big guy's coming through. Are we going to take him down? Okay, we've got a bit of a problem. Add this here. Add that to you. Oh, okay. This is tense. This is tense. Okay, heal up. Dark grip. Extra coins. Greater fire damage. Um, I like this space. It's a decimate space. Honestly, I like this space. Um, I, th I think we're going to use that.
Let's get these in here. Um, okay. So we haven't done much damage to you. We survived a few rounds here. Uh, fire. We'll add this to you. Do this. Now, can we keep... I want to see. We can't build on these corrupted. So we kind of need to. I'm trying to figure out a way. Can, have we got the pieces? To send them. No, we don't really have those pieces, do we? I mean, I guess what we got to do is think about how we how we do it back here. Because if they're coming through here anyway, then we might as well lay it up. So we'll do something like... I mean, it would be good to have a poison here somehow. If we could do something like this. Oh, there is a corrupted piece there. We've got poison here. That the, I wait. Do we we can put one there? We can put that there. This is going to be a decimate when we can. Do we increase the damage? Maybe I think we increase the damage of this, or do we increase the damage of this? Increase the damage of this, maybe. It's so tricky. I didn't want to put that there, but that's fine. Do something like this and send. So the decimate will go here when these get taken out. They're down. Just watching these pieces. That goes in. Then we're going to put this on here. Okay, we get to take you down, which is good. Okay, big hits. I mean, this is tense. This is really tense. I mean, we haven't done much to this dude. I mean, I don't know if we're supposed to be doing lots to this dude right now, but we really haven't done much to this dude. Um, okay. So we're going to do something like this. Nope. Pick that up. What we want to try and do is we want to block this off. And then we want to run it so that it goes down here. like so add fire here add this here and hit you with the poison cloud um i mean it would have been good to have done another poison thing here i don't know if we can slot anything in here i don't think we can slot any of these pieces in might be able to slot this one in we do and then we can place poison there Okay, we will be able to. Now we're doing some damage to the big guy. Yeah, I think we probably set up for decimators back here. So if we, where's the next best decimator going to go? It's going to have to come in here, isn't it? Let's save our money and then we've got, we got time. Time to think about it. Clear the minions.
Okay. On to the next round. Um, now, we could, if we get the right piece slotted in there, and we don't have a decimator worthy area. Damn, it's close. It's close. Can't fit it in there either. But we can, we could extend this, right? So we can go. We can extend this like this. We can put this here and we can place that there. That's fine. Then, I mean, the poison. We're placing this down here. We can hit you with the sprinkle. And then we've got another decimator coming in. That's my plan. My plan is to try and fit another one in somehow. <laughs> Do it something like... This. Um... Like that. And then... Like this, maybe. And put it here. And then we can upgrade you. I think we send this. This is the final wave. Are we going to be able to take it down? It's big. Everything's far we're firing at it. We're firing everything we've got. Ah! Hit it with everything you've got. It's going, it's going. Line them up at the back. Have we got enough? Keep it moving. <laughs> Don't let it through. Keep it moving. Can we get it done? No. Line everything up. <laughs> it's so close. Just got it! Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Talk about leave it to the very last second. I didn't think we were going to make it. I thought it was just going to take us out in one foul swoop. But we got it done! New unlock, Sacred Fire. Able to sense the slightest corruption, all battle stages in the adventure are corrupted stages. At the end of each wave, corrupted tile shift positions randomly. You can change your flame at the start of each run. We get it done. Victory. There it is. The Misty Forest normal. It took nearly one hour and nearly two hours. <laughs> um, but there we go. There we go. And it was all about the poison. Look at that. We did actually do 62,000 of fire damage um, and then 61,000 of poison damage. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I mean, I, oh, that's our talents. I was like, what is this? Um, yeah, one hour, 30 minutes, uh, coins earned 9,440, coins spent 8,000, plenty of towers built, ice school tower most built, um, especially at the end there where we were spamming it just to try and get it over the line. And even when we had that one round where it was nearly all over, we pull it back and we get it done. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This game is really fun. Um, it's, it's a nice twist on tower defense. It probably won't get as many views as my Super Auto Pets content, but I actually really enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.